And these are still need to be moved around. Can't really move them around too far though, can we? Shall we just have them explore? Can't we go out there? Okay. We'll have them explore around here. Era Star has been unlocked as well. Excellent. Ah, so we can see our score, and we are doing terribly. Look at that. Oh my god, we are actually so, so far behind. Alright. That's okay, that's always been a problem in these games. <laughs> oh dear, we have an urgent affair, so the pecking of poultry. The art of divination spreads across the empire. Uh, priests search for messages from the gods in animal entrails, the flights of birds, the wheeling of stars, in holy decorations, and elsewhere. Now, however, the practices have become so commonplace, so bizarre, that the whole empire is sliding towards chaotic superstition. Even the eating patterns of chickens are uh, being interpreted by military commanders. Okay, um, I believe that was actually something um, real. I can't remember if it was... Um, I think it was uh, part of the Roman um, beliefs that they would um, watch uh, chickens and how they ate um, and offer them food and watch their behaviours before they went to battle and that would be considered an omen uh, towards uh, how the battle would go. But I think you could fix it actually. That um, so I think Caesar, uh, when he's going to Gaul, did these things where he'd take a chicken and I can't. Um, he would change its behaviour somehow by fixing the result. And uh, that would be a, you know, a good propaganda move for his campaign. But I digress. Um, so what we could do is uh, celebrating on Biblos, we get 10 stability by embracing this. Uh, fanatical on Biblos, we get plus 25% faith per turn. Uh, or we could learn, which gets more, more science. Well, we're okay with stability for the moment, so that's out of the question. Um, we could just go for the science at the moment, but uh, it's only first. Okay, we'll, we'll do that. Uh, because I don't think we're really gaining much faith anywhere at the moment, so it wouldn't really be much of a um, much of a gain from that. Got a discovery that could be made over here. So let's go and take that. All right. So I believe. That's that. We really need to get our influence up over here, don't we? It's terrible. Irrigation has been researched. People are in the Babylonians are in the Okay, right, okay. Okay. We are so so far behind on this. We're gonna use um I think we're gonna use our New science boost to get masonry as well. Masonry is very fun in every game. And next turn we'll be able to create a new city. That's not what I want to press. Ah, here we go. So we've got a uh, plus 10. Excellent, 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 excellent. So we could make a new city now. It's probably safest to uh, make uh, Altair a new city, so that's what we're going to do. And we are going to... We're losing food, so we're going to make a new food district. Two food, two food, four food, five food, five. Okay, get that out of the way. Four and one from districts. It's going to take that. So well, let's uh, go up here so we can take the um, river later on. It's not going to take long. So, oh, we can buy out as well now. Excellent. That might be very, very useful. Could we do that over here as well? Hmm. Well, we did say we were going to get our stone rings, so that's what we're going to do. And oh, we can build them basically anywhere on our borders. Okay, so uh, let's build it here because we're not going to be able to get much by building a district here. That's going to take seven turns. So, um... How would our income change if we boosted that a little bit? Ah, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. We could take that. That's pushing it up by one turn. Excellent stuff. Losing food again. Why is this? Mm, just poor outputs, I believe. Yeah, it's just from population consumption. That's okay. Technological exchanges. Okay, so I know proximity. 
Okay. Excellent, that's a massive science boost, that's sexy, okay. So you're gonna go over here again. And Well, because it's gonna be done now, let's take fishing as well. <laughs> Excellent. It's giving us a new era star, so we're catching up a little bit there. And a sailing gives us the Byream and the fishmonger. Um, I think really we need to go for sailing so we can have a look over here. Will this let us embark as well? Because I would love to guess our people were exploring again. Okay, we've got two notifications over here. So, ambassability strained. Okay. Can I show civics? Oh, okay. So, a first civic is available for you to vote on. Excellent. So we can get founding myths. Does this tell us what it's going to do? So it affects uh, when voting a civic, uh, you can choose either option. Okay. But each path must affect the empire in numerous areas. Okay. Okay. Time to vote. Um, what does this do? Plus five, influence on the main plaza. Plus three faith on your territory. Let's go for influence because we are. Why was this even a question? Struggling with that. Let's keep it simple. We've been here. It's our place. Yeah, he's already right. It's our place. Minus fifty percent on create outpost cost. Okay. Or minus twenty percent on attach outposts or absorb city costs. Hmm. Let's go with uh, customary laws. That seems to leave a lot of interpretation of right and wrong. Not to mention yours and mine. Okay, brilliant. So. We're converting our own outposts again to the Phoenicians. Excellent. <laughs> so we're going to get a bit more control over that. And I believe now uh, we're going to be uh, increasing our own hold on these two as well, which is excellent. Which means, I believe, uh, once we have done this, we might be able to convert some more influence over our own outposts here. So we're going to keep that uh, under check. Because that would be very nice, actually, to surprise um, the Mycenaeans and just burst out our own outposts over there later on. So that might have more use than we thought. Okay, so once we've burst out over here... Okay, so this is more of a faith, this is more of a science. Okay, excellent stuff. This game is getting deep. <laughs> uh, attain 10 technologies. Okay, so military stars. Destroy a total of 3 military units. Okay, we can use the Nubians for that. Reach a total of 300 influence. Okay, so that shouldn't take far too long. It's getting 27 per turn now. I keep pressing the wrong ruddy bloody button! Um, so, I think what we're going to do... Well, what does this do? Clear forest. We don't want to clear forest. Clearing forest is bad. Um, okay. Does this actually belong to the... Um, no. Uh, Jabba. Okay, so it probably does. Um, I might want to actually create... What was this? A new... Um, Oh, uh, we can boost it by... Uh, okay, because it's shared. Excellent. Alright, so I might want to create another warrior and move over to the Nubians to see what the hell's going on with them. Because I believe we have the uh, Cold War style thing. And there is a discovery over here. We should have a look at that. Uh, I need war with the Mycenaeans for that, so we're not going to do that at all. Alright, so we are going to carry on with our exploration over here. Excellent. Yeah, these are notifications that we've already seen. Excellent. Yeah, we've done this. That's fine. I got a new notification down here. New alliance: the Morians and the Mycenaeans. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so that was the Nubians, isn't it? Yeah. You have something to say? 
They want me to give... Which one is this? Oh, I'm not giving them that. Fuck off. Why would I do that? Oh, I'm refusing that. The proposal is sloppy. My answer is no. Which means we're at war. That's okay. Alright, so we definitely need to make uh, some more warriors and things now. So this is going to be tough. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop these coming over. We're going to defend. And we're going to wait for this uh, holy site to be done in three turns. Okay, so you're at war. In humankind, a war is won by forcing your opponent to surrender. In order to do so, you need to play in a way that will bring their population's war support to zero. Same applies to me. Uh, an empire's war support against an empire goes down when losing a battle, a city, or being in a war for too long. Conversely, war support against an empire goes when winning battles and stuff. Okay. Um, so we can see their war support's on the top over here. We're currently matched. Uh, we're getting plus 10 from other breaking a treaty, that's fine. And they're doing the same over here. But theirs is decaying because of the proximity from us. So ours is stagnant and theirs is decaying. So we could just wait. But I would very much like to scout them out. New agreements available, you may ask for reparations. You look different. Haircut? Uh, the Mycenaeans are allied. Demand they break alliance. Okay. Injury should not go and punish. Yeah, um. Does this mean I'm at war with them as well then? No, we're at peace with them. So we're gonna, if we're at peace with them, we're gonna leave that because I reckon if they, um. If they refuse us, that we could go to war with them as well. Our Sessi stars have. Okay. And uh, Merchant Stars, um, excellent. So we'll be guessing that very soon as well. Cool. Which will tell us a bit clearer over here. Okay. Don't have any resources for that. Alright, so we're going to carry on. Have an idle army, that's okay, we can uh, just station them there. I believe we have new population, is that? Religious conversion starts with the people of Malatala uh, converted to Phoenician shamanism. Excellent. And Biblos converted to our religion. Excellent, 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 excellent. Look at this. So they're going to be, um, okay, Nubian's polytheism. Uh, that's not good. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so we need to watch out for that. And we have a new notification over here. So one more civic is... So that's leadership. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, plus 25 stability on the capital, and that'll bring us over here. So plus 5 stability on all cities. More vision range and detection range. That's very useful for wars. Or we can have small councils, which will bring us over here for five stability on cities and plus two influence on emblematic districts. So that's going to be very useful uh, later on. It will give us an increased city cap as well. So we're going to go for small Most councils. problems eventually yield to the onslaught of more brains. <laughs> I'm loving the narration in this game. So we now have uh, plus five stability on all cities, which is great. We're going to have our... Um, stone rings done soon as well which will increase our faith which should help us against the um they're not noobies anymore are they little shits as well now um okay so we've got a new merchant star so we need two more so we're gonna get that from builders we're gonna get um uh, one more soon so we just need one more building somewhere for the new star but i would also very much like how oh, they cost population interesting so we're going to get um, a pottery workshop over here as well. It's only going to take a couple of turns. And in Biblos we are going to create some archers. That will take two turns. And it will consume, unfortunately, some population. No, no matter though. Will it make a difference if we change our industry here? No, it's still going to take two turns. So I am going to... We're not really making any food. Um, yeah, we're not... Yeah, we need some more food. Ah, 
And we finally have sailing as well, so we can create bireams. And we can choose a new technology, of course. We're going to go for city defense, just gives one turn, we need to get it out of the way. End turn. It's all hotting up. <laughs> have we seen any um, news from these people over here? I keep forgetting what they're called now. Got a new alert, Why are you here? We could probably ask them to uh, surrender soon, then. Uh, offer your surrender. Not yet, thank you. Okay. Okay. So, as you change, yeah, no, aggressive, that's fine. We are at war, sort of, you know, gathered that. Bronze working for copper. We really, really need uh, some sort of strategic resource, so we're going to go for that. Yeah, that's it. Foregone conclusion, we definitely need that. We are also going to go for more archers, are we? No, I don't really want to spend the um, population, so we're going to go for... Um, something that increases our food income, I think. We're doing okay on everything else. So we can get plus two on river. We're not really sat in any rivers at the moment. Go plus two for per, 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 per farmer. And plus one more farmer slot. That's what we're going to do. So get plus two more from each uh, person working food here. That's going to take uh, three turns, though. That's okay. Do, how much will this change our research? That's going to half our research. Okay, so we're going to keep that there. We definitely need the person researching there. And we have also finished building over here. So what we're going to do is also build some more food over here. We're going to make exactly the same thing. Um, does this have access to horses? It does. So we're going to make this. Excellent. We're going to end the turn. No, we're not. We're going to move our archers over to help the warriors over here. Not that they're really doing anything, but we need to consolidate them. A new notification. Population loss due to low food. Um, where is this? Well, it's not really uh, anything we can do about that, is there? Because we need to spend influence to make things... Make an arsenal's courser. Yeah, we don't really have control over this. Though. There's not a lot we can do. We can haven for money. It counts as a farmer's courser. It counts as a market courser as well. We're not spending our uh, uh, influence at the moment, though, so we could make these things. Your first harbour gives access to endless expanses of the vast blue seas, great voyages and discoveries. Should have done this ages ago. No, yeah, should have bloody done it ages ago. He's right. Uh, we've got one more era, so to go to the next era as well. I'm getting a new um, culture effect, I believe. So we're looking at military and scientists. We need one more technology. We'll get that in two turns for sure. And I believe that built that instantly, so we could go for a market course of here, couldn't we? Yeah, let's do that. Excellent stuff. How's our influence looking? We're still losing that. Okay. Mm. Not happy. Not happy. Let's carry on, shall we? And they finally gain that back. Well, deed locked. Okay, so we've not been able to do that. Keep pressing the wrong button. <sighs> okay, we really need to source out these uh, Nubians because uh, their religion's uh, not helping us at all. Um, so the way we're going to do that again is by bringing our um, armies together. I don't know how exactly that happens. Okay, so we'll just uh, slide them together like that. And um, we're going to look at Jabbar over here. Um, I highly doubt uh, warriors and archers will be able to take an outpost, but so we'll at least have a quick look at it. Have a new era star as well. So we'll look at this. And we are going to evolve. Uh, we could stay with this then, does that mean? So transcendence, uh, perhaps you've developed a special bond to your current culture. Uh, changing era without changing culture is valid. Uh, it's called transcendence. Uh, you can keep culture affinity and emblematic district. 
Uh, to reflect the prestige of such a move in the world stage, every future fame bonus is granted a significant boost. Okay. Boost is cumulative too, so we can keep transcending. What does this actually do for us though? Uh, keep the culture you have. This will improve your fame gains, but your Ember Asset units might become a little outdated. That's okay. Could look at the Axumites though, because um, they do seem to be fairly similar. Uh, plus two money on tiles producing money. That sounds rather useful. Um, plus one money per territories under religion's influence. Okay. Plus three faith. That would help us um, at the moment. And you get Shotelite, which are... Uh, okay, a nice little... But they need um, standing army research. For the Carthaginians, minus 20% or 25% buyouts on constructibles. That's, uh, that could be useful because we've got a decent income. More fortifications, counts as. Okay, we get war elephants as well. Okay. The Goths. Um, plus 10 combat strength bonus when ransacking. Okay. Tumulus, plus 3 influence and faith. Okay, so that could be quite useful. Maya for industry. Two industry per workers. Okay, that's actually very useful. We could uh, rush out some buildings with that. The Kuna, um, plus three industry per number of attached territories. Okay, so that's a more mega sissy again. Uh, okay. The Archimedes, um plus two city caps and plus ten uh, stability on city or outposts. That's quite useful. So that sort of negates the um, stability penalty from creating more districts. Um, we get Satrap Palace for more influence and two influence per adjacent district and more traders. Okay, we get the Immortals as well, which are anti-cavalry. We go for Romans, and that's pretty much all of our um, choices. Plus one unit slots available on each army. Okay, minus 30% upkeep. We get the Triumphal Arch as well for stability and influence. Um, on Victorious City, okay. Um, I think the Archimedes actually. Um, for this Satrap. Maybe the Goths. Hmm, go for Gothic Cavalry. We have the horses for it. Receives combat bonus strength if attacking non adjacent enemies. Okay. Hmm. What did the Carthaginians give us? This is very useful, though. Very tempted by the Goths, so um, two influence on Garrison. Let's go for that. So we get that absolutely great. Okay, is there any way of uh, looking at our accumulated bonuses? No? Okay. No matter. Let's go for a technology, shall we? Uh, so we only have a couple. We're going to go for the wheel, I believe. Battery rounds at the moment being useful, but so we're going to go for the wheel. It's really good. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to uh, scout out Jabbar as well. And we have a hunting party to uh, take out, which I think is what we're going to do. All together. Uh, we're going to do an instant resolution there. Should be fairly easy. Yeah, don't want to watch that again. We'll do the more interesting battles manually. Uh, we did lose our scouts though, but that's okay. And we'll take that. Excellent. Um... Uh, so we can look at uh, more on Erisars. Erisars cover these seven gameplay finishes. Yep, that's okay. Empire screen, cool.
Yeah, we need to research classical era to go into the Goths, I suppose, then. Okay. Not a problem. I'm going to research that, then. Does it uh, come after this? Yeah, I think we just need to go into and research all of these first. So that's absolutely fine. That's why we're locked at these two. Not a problem. And a message. The flooded lands. An unrelenting deluge of rainfall lashes down upon the great city of Byblos and the surrounding lands. Um, if the rain... Uh, if the rains don't stop soon, the banks of the great river that threads through the city will burst, flooding the adjacent courses. Um, with limited time and resources, the choice is start. What should we do? We could gamble for something. It doesn't sound great. Adapt for a uh, chance of bad consequences. Or we could spend 120 for good consequences. We have the money. We're not spending it on much else. We have 27 per turn. Let's use the tax. As this told us, victory at the Battle of Jabbar, that's okay. Um, that will probably tell us on the next turn the outcome of that. So let's go. What does this tell us? We have no construction here. How dare we forget about that? So we can go for the Haven to get things going here. Is this going to tell us? Uh, yeah, that's probably the best place to do it then. Excellent, and that will take six turns. How will this affect our income? Not so bad, we can put it down to five. We really need this influence to come from that. As urban centers grow, both ideas and sewage are generated at a record pace. Arts and sciences flourish as military tactics and mathematical equations become as coveted as physical goods. Empires struggle to control these intangibles, however some might trouble their stability. It's not really a question of intangibles with the Goths. There were a lot of tribes and a lot of travel. Okay, so we're now the Goths in the Classical Era. Excellent stuff. That really suits uh, Mr. Poe, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so we've got a new wonder which can be claimed. Um, let's get each of these monuments for the same. So, yep, that's absolutely fine. Can we see exactly how we get through to that? Alright, so we can get the Colossus of Rhodes for stability and fame. They're all going to give us fame, I imagine. And it exploits all sorts of resources, if possible. So we got the Hanging Gardens of Babylon already from um, these bastards over here, and the Mycenaeans we've got Stonehenge. It's actually quite a good one, look at all of those bonuses. And some people already have the Pyramids of Giza as well. So we go for the Temple of Artemis, which is always fun. Um, more stability, health regeneration and faith. The Statue of Zeus, uh, we give us faith, stability, money per alliance. Okay. The Mausoleum of Halicarnassus could be an uh, interesting one for 1% science per district. Oh, okay. Interesting. Because that will build up exponentially throughout the game, actually. We get the Lighthouse of Alexandria, though, for uh, vision range and naval combat bonus. Uh, okay. Military Militia are not lost over time during sieges. Uh, okay, so that's a bit of a warning for sieges. And plus 20 visibility. I quite like the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus idea actually because that's something that's going to grow. Should we claim that? 250 influence. Oh, so they're not built over time. That's interesting. You just, uh, if you're playing the influence game, you could claim so many of these then. Yeah, let's take that now. Excellent. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, cool. So, um, I think we're going to end our turn. And what's. Uh, okay, so we do need to claim it and then build it. Okay, interesting. Alright. That's. Yeah, that's probably more what we should have expected, really. So, uh, we can make another harbour. Um, our stability is alright for that, actually. What's this? A tumulus. 
plus... Okay, yeah, let's go for the tumors because we want that very much. Um, it says the best place to build is there. Hmm. It's going to reduce our food, though. Um, let's cancel that very quickly. No, come on. Because uh, our food income isn't amazing. Let's just reread exactly what it does. It's just uh, uh, a bit once per territory. So we probably do want to go for the most uh, benefits we can from it, can't we? It's 11 faith and 5 uh, influence. It's not the way. 7 and 5, 5 and 5, 7 and 5. Tell you what, let's go for over here, get the 7 and 5s. And with that, we're going to end our turn. Right, we've got a message again. Uh, bounce. Ah, oh, brilliant. So we got plus 15 food for 5 turns. Excellent, because we chose to protect them. So it's uh, the costs definitely paid off for us there. Uh, we're going to keep our, our military waiting over here because we do not want to send just a single arch unit to Jabbar. We're going to check our war score. What do you want now? When can I propose peace? Uh, cannot be done as your empire has no grievance to claim. Okay. Maybe I should create one. Hmm. All right. That's okay. So we are going to end our turn here. Run through these. Uh, built to last, well, indeed, lot. Okay, that's fine. And I believe that is a good place to leave it for today. Thank you very much for watching. We've uh, done a few things now. We're learning. We're become the Goths and gone into the classical uh, era now. And our score is looking a bit better, isn't it? Not amazing, but uh, we're only just a bit behind the uh, Nubians and a little bit behind the people in fourth place. So those Mycenaeans, though, were so far behind them. What the heck? They've Look at all this shit they've got, though. Um, there's fucking uh, arsons courses, gemstones, uh, copper. We just don't even have access to that at all. So we are going to need to either take them or... Um, hope we have some late game stuff waiting for us here really so uh yeah um uh, like i say that's gonna be it for today thank you for watching i hope your nights and days are auspicious and i've been the edify gamer thank you very much for watching see you next time